YouTube, what's going on? Got something to get off my chest a little bit. Not bad, because I expected it. Zach Taylor for the Bengals. You want to look good as your first year as head coach in Cincinnati? By Monday night when we play the Steelers, you need to start uh, Ryan Finley. It's the way it is. Now I know people are shocked. And listen, I'm not even upset that the Bengals are 0-3. Really, honestly, I'm not, because we expected it, right? I said it before the season even started. Listen, we're going to have a rebuilding year, new head coach. Listen, when Andy Dalton first came out in uh, that game against Seattle, threw 100, 400 and something yards and two TDs, no interception, I said, okay, you know, get, let's give this guy a shot. Maybe he's turned to leaf. Maybe he will look better under a new head coach. But he, he is what he is. Not saying that he's a bad bad quarterback, not saying that he couldn't start another team, not saying he couldn't be a backup, even our backup, but his time in Cincinnati as being the starter is over. That's just the way it is. I mean, what have we got to lose? I mean, seriously. Look at our division. You got Lamar Jackson, which everybody criticizes hell when they got rid of Joe Flacco, and it seems to me they're better off without him. They, uh, Baker Mayfield, uh, and Mason Rudolph. Why not Ryan Finley? Why not change it up? We're 0-3. What do we got to lose? Season's over, obviously. It was over before it began, but it's really over now. You need to start Ryan Finley. We need to start going in another direction. That's the way it is. Like it says, I've been on record for the last three, four, five years saying that Andy Dalton is what he is. He is what he is. He's... He's a slightly better Ryan Fitzpatrick. That's what he is. Ryan Fitzpatrick is a great backup. I don't judge him too harshly, you know, on what he's doing in Miami because Miami is freaking down awful. But before that, Fitzpatrick was a decent backup. You know, he come in in Tampa Bay and he looked good as being a backup, but that's what Dalton is. Dalton's maybe a slightly better Ryan Fitzpatrick. That's all he is. And I know... Dalton fans, I mean, I, uh, how do I say this? Andy Dalton fans that are sticking by him saying he's our quarterback, well, listen, look what he's done, okay? He's 0-4 in, in the playoffs, 0-5, something like that. He's got one touchdown to compare to seven interceptions if you come to uh, the actual playoff status. And we've missed the playoffs the last three years. And we're going to miss them again this year. But at least this year, we got a new head coach and it was expected. But Zach Taylor, you got to pull Andy Dalton. That's just the way it is. I admit, after the Seattle game, I, I even said, okay, look, give him another chance. Maybe he's turned to leave. But there's no future with Andy Dalton. You can just see it. And I guarantee you, if you keep Andy Dalton in on Monday night, we'll lose that game too. Because just... It, <laughs> Andy Dalton just can't get it done. Like I said, it's too bad because it's great human being off the field, obviously. This ain't about a personal attack on Dalton. It's on the field. The guy sucks. And he is what he is. He's not a starting quarterback. That's just the way it is. The only reason Dalton has been a starter this long is because we got an owner named Mike Brown who doesn't like to change anything. Hence, Marvin Lewis should have been fired six, seven years ago. But... I blame most of this on Mike Brown, honestly. I was actually shocked as hell when uh, when Marvin was out, to tell you the truth. But it's the way it is. And I know, now I know Zach Taylor, you got a lot of obstacles to jump through because you got you do got Mike Brown as an owner. You know, I, I get it. But you need to plead your case. Say, hey, listen, Mike, we're 0 3. We haven't made the playoffs in the last three years. We're without AJ Green. Let's give Ryan Finley a shot. Let's just give him a shot. We know what Andy Dalton is. We know what he is. The guy is a below-average quarterback. I was going to say average. I can't even say that anymore. He's a below-average quarterback. Because he blows leads and chokes. and He's a below-average backup quarterback. That's what he is. Like I said, a slight better than Ryan Fitzpatrick. Depending on the day. So, that's what we need to do. Still love my team. The NFL's been a surprise this year. So, I'll get to the picks soon this week, guys.